वेलकम टू डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग प्लेलिस्ट हियर इन दिस सेशन विल बी सॉल्विंग एग्जांपल्स बेस्ड ऑन सैंपलिंग एंड नाइक्विस्ट रेट सो लेट अस बिगिन दिस सेशन विद फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वेयर हियर इन दिस क्वेश्चन एक्स टी दैट इज गिवन बाय 3 cos ऑफ 50 पाई डी प्लस 10 sin ऑफ 300 पाई डी माइनस cos ऑफ 100 पाई डी कैलकुलेट नाइक्विस्ट रेट फॉर दिस सिग्नल now see in this signal if you see different frequency components then from this we can say it has omega 1 that is 50 pi so f1 that will be 25 hertz so f1 that is omega 1 by 2 pi and that is 50 pi by 2 pi that will be 25 hertz now from this frequency component omega 2 that is 300 pi so f2 that is omega 2 divided by 2 pi so that is omega 2 that is 300 pi divided by 2 pi that will be 150 hertz and third frequency component that is 100 pi so f3 that is omega 3 by 2 pi so that is 50 Hertz, the reason is omega 2 omega 3 that is 100 pi so these are the frequency components that is there in this signal now maximum frequency out of this so maximum frequency that is fm and that is 150 hertz so 150 hertz that is maximum frequency so the nyquist rate that will be fs is equals to 2 fm so that is 2 into 150 one can say that is 300 hertz so nyquist rate for this question that will be 300 hertz now let us solve few more problem find the nyquist rate and nyquist interval for the signal that is this now see here signal is not given in terms of frequency samples so we need to have that in terms of addition frequency samples so for that here this is what c into c so we will be multiplying 2 and dividing 2 so this will be 1 by 4 pi into 2 cos of 4000 pi t into cos of 1000 pi t now this is what 2 cc that is c plus c so this will be 1 by 4 pi into c plus c means 4000 minus 1000 so that will be 3000 pi t and another c c plus c so that will be addition of this two so plus cos of 4000 plus 1000 that will be 5000 pi t now we have this in term, this signal in terms of frequency components so let us have frequency components so first frequency f1 based on this component that is what omega 1 by 2 pi so 3000 pi divided by 2 pi so omega 1 by 2 pi so that is 3000 pi by 2 pi that will be 1 phi double zero hertz and f2 based on this component so that is phi omega 2 that by 2 pi omega 2 is 5000 pi so 5000 divided by 2 pi 5000 pi divided by 2 pi that will be 2 phi double zero hertz now from this we can identify maximum frequency so that is fm and that is this so here our question is to calculate nyquist rate and nyquist interval so nyquist rate that is fs that will be 2 fm so that has to be 2 into 2 phi double zero that will be 5000 hertz that will be nyquist rate and nyquist interval ts that is 1 by fs and that is 1 divided by 5000 one can say that is 0 0.2 millisecond so this will be nyquist rate and nyquist interval that is how we can identify this 
Now next question is even very simple. One can easily solve it. Determine the Nyquist rate for continuous time signal xt is equals to this 6 into cos of 50 pi t plus 20 into sine of 300 pi t minus 10 into cos of 100 pi t. So here frequency components that we will be identifying first. So from this we can say f1 that is omega 1 by 2 pi. Omega 1 is 50 pi so that will be 25 hertz. f2 that is omega 2 by 2 pi. So omega 2 is 300 pi divided by 2 pi that will be 150 hertz. See this is how we can solve this and third that is this 100 pi d so f3 that is omega 3 by 2 pi omega 3 is 100 pi so this will be 50 hertz and from this we can have maximum frequency fm that is 150 hertz so Nyquist rate fs that is 2 fm so obviously we can say this will be 2 into 150 that is 300 hertz so Nyquist rate for this case that will be 300 hertz see this is how we can solve basic problems based on sampling and Nyquist rate I hope that you have understood this and you will be finding complete digital communication here so just stay tuned with this and give your valuable suggestions your suggestions are most welcome to me and based on that only I am making videos in future so give your suggestions definitely that will help to some other students thank you so much for watching this video